¿Qué es lo que ya was good? Estamos activo, bienvenido, and we are now past 6,500 suscriptores. So big shout out to all y'all that have already joined La Comunidad. And if you haven't yet, come on. Also, we're almost at 10,000 on TikTok and it is jumping. So check that out because I'm having way too much fun over there. In English, when we need an extra little pause to give us time to think about what we're going to say next, we'll use something like, um, or like that, that that I just did. These are just as valuable in Spanish as they are in English. So I'm going to teach y'all how to say, um, in Spanish and some other ways to give yourself more time to think. Now, y'all know I love to give y'all a bunch of different options. So today, the magic number is 11. Now, you don't have to learn all of these. You can just pick and choose which ones are your favorite or the easiest for you to remember. But if you do want to learn them all, it's going to give you a really good variety to pick from in any given moment. But I do want to warn you, don't make these habitual. So you know how in English people will say like or um so much that it's just annoying. Don't do that with these. Use them as helpers, not as crutches. E is the Spanish um. So, por ejemplo, vamos a comenzar eh, a las diez y media. One of the easiest ways to stall is to just lengthen your last word. Sí, vamos al supermercado donde sea. Similar to just lengthening your last word, there are some words that are meant to be lengthened specifically for this reason. And those are este, así que es como, a ver. Now these next ones you can use if you just need a short pause. Because if you use one of these and you don't follow up with something quick, they're probably going to talk over you. Because these can also be used as a way to just kind of naturally trail off if you're not actually going to say anything else. Pues. This means well. Si, pues, a mi no me gusta. Bueno can be used in a number of different ways. But in this case, it can also mean well. So we can use that exact same example. Bueno. A mi no me gusta. Pero means but. Estaba pensando en eso, pero no sé. O sea can be used as I mean or in other words. No voy. O sea, no es una opción. This last one is my favorite. Como te digo. And this one is like, how do I tell you? You can also use como le digo for usted Or como les digo, if you're talking to a group of people and you're saying, how do I tell y'all? I love this one because it gives you a little bit more time than all of the other ones. So this one is specifically good for if somebody asks you your opinion on something or asks you something that you want to give a really in-depth answer on. So if somebody asks me why I started teaching Spanish, I might say, oof, como te digo? It just makes it really clear that you're thinking about whatever the question was that they asked you. But don't use this on really easy questions. If somebody asks you, ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? Don't say, ¿Cómo te digo? No mames. So now you know how to say um in Spanish and how to buy yourself some extra time when you need it. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Gracias por estar aquí. Hasta la próxima.